Jacob. I am the director's son and just him. The directors. <laughs> <laughs> and not that I'm competing. And I've just enjoyed every year here. I love just seeing all the new faces and the old ones. And I've this week I've had the pleasure of teaching a few kids archery, which I've really enjoyed. And you're gonna see later in the presentation. And I love seeing all my friends and just being in camp. And, is, and the reason anybody and all of us are here is because of him. So I know he hates it when we tell the story. And most of you have heard the story, but not all of the parents have heard the story. Maybe Emily could tell the story. Emily, she was do there. you remember the story? Well? Oh, God. Jacob wanted a place where everybody could feel welcome. And he was like, and he was like hey, why don't we make a camp? And so he created this. And yeah, and here we are, seven years later. It's great. <laughs> Adam. Um, my name is Adam. I'm from... Adam Boyd. Adam Boyd. I'm from uh, Tawasin, British Columbia. Uh, so that's like up in Vancouver, kind of. Um, and I have been going to camp for seven years, pretty much. Um, I started by going at, to the day camps, which they did in Tawasin. And I uh, will always remember the thing that got me to go was my mom came into my room and she's like, Adam, would you like to go to Lego camp? <laughs> and I'm like, sure. So I went and ever since then, it's just, I've been going and uh, if possible, I might run the, or help run mm -hmm. the branch in my hometown of Tawasin for digivations now. So I went from a student to one of the directors of the Tawasin branch. So this is great. It's good. Tomas. Uh, my name is Tomas. I come from Mexico City. And I help out around camp whenever I can. I've come here for this is my third year. And I like helping people learn about many different topics. And, and tell me a little bit about your family background and that, what you contribute to with the museums. Well, my dad is a museographer. Basically, he designs and sets up museums. So I've grown up helping with that. And recently, he's also started putting up reptile expositions, specifically with snakes. So... I've learned how to keep snakes, and I have currently 12 as pets. And that'll work really well with Heidi Parter next week. So anybody who wants to sleep their kids here for another week and you know, understand the connection with Harry Potter, that's a good thing. Thank you so much. Emily. Um, my name's Emily Gruner. I have been coming to camp. This is my seventh year. I've been here since the beginning. I was nine, uh, so it's been a while. This is my third year as a CIT, and it's my favorite place. I look forward to it every year, and, like, I really hope that for all you guys, the campers, uh, that it's important to you as well. Like, you've had a good time, and you want to come back next year. And, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> We're good. Uh, so yeah, my name is Morgan. Uh, some of y'all might remember me from greeting you the first day, hopefully. Uh, and so three years ago, I started out as a camper. Two years ago, I became a CIT. And this year is my first year teaching anything about swords. So I'm currently the sword instructor. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of a jack of all trades. If anyone needs anything, I usually try to speed over there and get it done. sense you've done a wonderful job because you've learned under some very good you know talented teachers and professionals and you really are coming into your own which is wonderful thanks sir cassidy we've been very fortunate that cassidy rejoined us this year she lives very far away how many of you are familiar with british columbia like north of british columbia a little bit right so very far north but i'll let her take over we were fortunate to get her as a camper uh, when she last time was when she was 10 right and she's been doing a great job and Jacob and Cassidy 
have been doing what? What are the, what are the important things you've been doing? That's probably the heart of the camp. Uh, we have been basically the, what's the word? Chefs for the entire camp. We have done meal planning. Uh, we've done inventory. We cook all the food. We serve the food. So I hope everyone ha is content with the food you've been eating. Yeah, yes. yeah raise your hand yeah. if you've enjoyed the food here in Canada. That's, that's good. <laughs> that's great. And I'll tell you the one good thing is year after year we've tried different chefs, different cooks. The problem is most of you have been upstairs, you know the media room, so sound carries. And our room is way in the corner. And if you're not involved in camp, and you don't understand the dynamics of camp, because there's a lot of administrative work, there's a lot of dealing with different parents, new parents, uh, challenges that come up along the way, uh, logistics. And Dr. Ann and I don't always agree. How many here are married, just out of curiosity, okay? Or have been married, you know? <laughs> and can you imagine running a camp you know, with all these kids and agreeing on everything? Seriously, how many of you would agree on everything? Not very many, right? So we find it far easier to have campers who have them become counselors, who then become chefs, okay, to deal with the challenges of running a camp as both a husband and wife, two professionals, two professors, and people who love your kids and love you guys. That's been great. But Cassidy, also tell me a little bit about your, you also deal with a variety of other issues. You deal with special needs, right? You have a lot of special needs and counseling background. Yeah. So every year back home, I am a youth mentor for a, a circus camp that comes through. And they get lots of special needs traffic. Um, so I have been doing that for about... I'd say nine years now. I was a camper for a long time and then I became a mentor. And uh, so. You know whose parent that is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I also have personal experience with special needs. My siblings are both special needs. So, as the oldest, you kind of uh, co parent your siblings, whether you like it or not. Um, let me think. I've done multiple other summer camps. Um, I have had experience with at least five others that I go to regularly. So it was great being able to bring all the experience I gathered from there and implement it here, especially after not being here for so long because I went to the first camp of the first week they did, and then the first week of the second camp they did the next year. But then I wasn't there for five years. I couldn't make it back down there. So this is my first year coming back. And they've moved camp locations since then. So it's been a very large learning experience and getting used to the flow of things, how it is. But, you know, I came back and I'm, I like it even better here. That's great, Cassie. Thank you for that. Thank you. And then, Ari, you're the last one.